So I am Martin Cooper with Wadia Digital. Here we are at uh, CES 2008, and we're showing off some of our new products as well as our existing products. And uh, what we've got here is a new iPod dock. We call it the 170 iTransport. Uh, what's, what's unique about our product versus everybody else's on the market right now is a bit perfect digital output. We use a uh, digital coax output um, on the back, which our piece can access the digital information on the iPod before it's been processed on the iPod, before the DDA converters on the iPod have, have done their work. So now you can output the digital signal out of your iPod into a high quality D-Day converter. Uh, we also have component video, S-video, composite video, and uh, left and right RCA analog audio uh, for anyone who's going to hook it up in the, the application we have here directly to a television uh, using the uh, analog inputs on the television as well as component video. Uh, our device actually, since we worked with Apple on this device, and this is a made for iPod device, it can work with all the new players as well as a few of last year's players and it, it can also access that video quality 480p video quality that the new players can do. Is this shipping yet? Uh, this piece will be shipping. We're looking at shipping it by the end of March. It'll be available in uh, the silver finish you're seeing here initially and potentially other finishes to come. It's an all aluminum chassis, uh, bottom and the top. So it is something that we can do in other finishes uh, rather than just a, a, a plastic that we would not be able to do anything else with. Is there a price point in mind yet? Yeah, price point actually is already set. We're looking at 349 US. 349 yeah, for a Wadia product in a metal chassis. Yeah, $349. And the reason why we did that was not to necessarily undercut the market it was, or, or take away from any of the other products that we have. It was to bring this product to the masses. Pretty much anybody who can afford an iPod now can also afford our dock. And as long as they have a component with a digital input, which includes a, uh, any current AV receivers uh, or any external DACs, whether it be one of ours or someone else's on the market, can now use their iPod with our iTransport and get extremely high quality sound off of their iPod. Beautiful. But I don't think so